This is a simple meiosis simulation. These are the materials that you need to prepare, colored papers, glue or scotch tape, scissors, pencil, ruler, a string or paper clip that could represent your centromere, and die. If you don't have a die at home, you can use an app in your cell phone. Create lines on the paper as a guide for cutting. Create horizontal and vertical lines. Now cut the lines for your chromosomes. And then divide the strips of paper into four. Get a piece from each color and assign them for X and Y chromosomes. In the simulation process, we won't be needing the X and Y, so set them aside. And then get two strips of paper from each color, proceed to DNA replication. Now, um, the original DNA will be copied, so in this case, the two strips of paper from each color will now become four, respectively. So at the start of meiosis one, the cell has now a diploid number of chromosomes. Pair up the sister chromatids, use the string or the paper clip to hold them together, and look at the location of the centromere. So centromere location can be at the middle or can be near the end of the chromosome. During prophase 1, the following events happen, the coiling of chromosomes, disappearance of nuclear membrane and nucleolus, as well as the appearance of the spindle fibers. Formation of tetrads will follow, so the same location of centromere will pair up together. Crossing over or exchange of genetic materials will now follow. To determine how many segments of the chromosomes will be transferred from one chromosome to another, we will use the die. In tossing the die, you must not have more than four. So let's see. First try. I got five, so let's toss again. I got one. So in this case, there will only be one segment from each chromosome that will be transferred to each other. And we can use the lines that we've created a while ago as a guide in cutting the segments. Now, the location of the segments can be in any part of the chromosome because crossing over is random. Using the glue or scotch tape, so let us stick the genetic materials in each chromosomes. So this is now the result of crossing over. At metaphase one, the chromosomes will now align at the equatorial region of the cell. And at anaphase 1, the chromosomes will now be pulled at opposite regions of the cell. So in this case, 
the diploid number of chromosomes will now become haploid. That's why uh, meiosis 1 is called the reduction stage. At telophase 1, we now have two daughter cells with haploid number of chromosomes. Meiosis 2 is just simple mitosis, so let's look at what is happening in each daughter cell. Let's just focus on one cell. So let's have prophase 1. At prophase 1, again, there's the coiling of chromosomes, the disappearance of nucleus and nuclear membrane, and the appearance of spindle fibers, but there is no crossing over that is happening anymore. Metaphase 2, chromosomes will align at the center of the cell. And at anaphase 2, the sister chromatids will be separated and be pulled at opposite regions of the cell. And at telophase 2, we now have four daughter cells, still with a haploid number of chromosomes.